Hello there guys and welcome back for another mod review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Macy Ferguson or Massey Ferguson pack 2. This pack contains five different models of tractors, each vary in size. You'll notice the tire, this is the most powerful one here. You'll notice that the tires and the size get quite a bit bigger as you go along. Take a look from back here. You can tell that guy over there is pretty short compared to this guy over here. But there's lots of things you can do with these, lots of things you can change around and some have an ability to hook up a front loader. The first three. This one, this one, and this one. I shouldn't say this one. The, the 5712, the 6613, and the 6616 are able to have brackets to mount a front loader. Now we'll take a look at each one and I'll go over each thing. Let's take a look inside. First we'll look around the outside. It's very sharp. They did a really good job. Modern did an excellent job. Okay, cockpit view. Now, very nice in here. One thing I really liked, I already kind of tested this just to uh, get an idea of what it, what it has. The uh, dashboard lights up at night. This is actually the first vehicle I've seen to date that has a dashboard that lights up at night. So, way to go on that one. Now, I'm going to grab my keyboard here, guys, because some of these buttons I don't have programmed into my gamepad now. If I hit the space bar, this has the ability to open doors. Okay, I'm just going to switch right over to it. You can open the sunroof. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to use two hands here. Yeah. Is it open all the way? Okay. And the back window opens. So there's three things you can maneuver from inside. Now let's jump back out and we'll take this for drive plus hook it up. Now a few things I got to tell you. The first one, this is the M, the MF 5712 Massey Ferguson. Massey. I'm going to call it Massey. Massey Ferguson 5712. It's $117,000 for this tractor. It has 88 kilowatts and 120 horsepower. This also has the ability to hook up a front loader, like I said. Now what we'll do, I'll bring back my screen here, and we'll go over a couple of things. Now you can see here, if I press O, I can open the hood, or the bonnet, whatever you want to call it. And if I press O, or uh, sorry, X, I can... Um, you can put your attachment for a weight or whatnot, whatever you want to hook to the front, to the front. So you can put that away. You can stow it. Um, I'm just looking here. Nine. Okay. There's a few other things. You can uh, double up on the wheels on all of these by pressing. Let me jump in. Oh, do I do it from the outside or the inside? I think i got to be insider, of course. Uh, by pressing seven and four. There you got double wheels. Now let's hook this guy up. Do I have the front brackets on? Yes. Now how do you control the brackets again? The brackets are controlled by pressing K. Now watch the front brackets. See you can you can stow that as well. Alright. Onward. We'll hook up to uh oh I should I could have just grabbed that one. We'll hook up to this guy. grab a bucket or some kind of something to hook onto the front of this and we'll take it for a little drive now this isn't swamp with horsepower this is your lightest one but it's your cheapest one too okay we're in business sharp looking vehicle man I really like that excellent job check out our beacons beacons work horn good headlights check back headlights check excellent okay let's turn all that stuff off and go for a little spin now these are all the the um sorry I'm tripping over my tongue here they corrected these in value as they should be in you know what I'm talking about it's um 
they have the proper weight and stuff and horsepower. Everything's correct. From what I'm reading. Now this is very cool. I like this. Oh yeah, you can switch the weights in the back too. Let's take a look at that. Now, I'm not sure how to do that. Also, you can move the fenders around, guys. Let's take a look at that as well. Um, fenders, fenders. There's so many buttons here. I had to write all this stuff down, actually. Um, C? I know you can, and you can change the weights on the wheels, and there's different variations, and you can change the plates on the back. Change number plate, X different countries and stuff I'd imagine. Where is it at? I don't see I don't see the plate. It says press X and press an X. Maybe it's in the front. I'm not too sure about that one. I'm probably doing something wrong. Change number plate X. Maybe it's switching and I just don't see it. Oh it's up top probably. Oh yeah. My bad. There it is. See, there's all kinds of different ones, different countries and stuff. Very cool. Okay, let's check out the fenders. Remove mud guard. There it is. X. So you can take them off if you want on each side. You have to do each side separately. And I wanted to check the weights in the back. Now, how did it say I check? Circle through variations. Pretty sure it's X. X. It should be O or X. Maybe it's... You can't switch it on this one. I'm not too sure, guys. I never really tested the uh, wheels. But anyway, you get the point. So, on to the next one. There we go. Now, this is the M... The Massey Ferguson 6613. This is $147,000, 94 kilowatts, and 128 horsepower. Now, this has all the same variations as the other one. Fenders, bonnet. Everything seems to work on it. That's good. Let's take a look inside, guys. What I'm actually going to do is speed up time so we can see that at night. Now, let me... Switch over to that. Yeah, they did an excellent job with this. Let's hook up to, just to be different. We'll hook up to the sprayer. Yeah, these things aren't super fast. Well, that, I mean, they go about 50, 60 kilometers. That's not bad. I find them a little slippery, not too bad. But. I think I'm definitely going to be adding this to uh, to my Let's Play because it, there's nothing better than more choice. Let's back into this guy, pick him up. Nice. Looks nice. I like that. Okay. On to the next guy. Okay. This is the Massey Ferguson 6616. This is 157,000, 116 kilowatts, 158 horsepower. Go, oh, wrong button. Cockpit view. You can open the side doors. Yeah, this lights up at night and that lights up at night. And uh, this works good. It's hard to see this kind of blurred out in the background, but I mean, I think it's very cool that they uh, they added that option. Let's open the sunroof. And go back. Jump out. Let's double, oh no, we didn't have to go out for that. Let's double up our wheels so we look cool. Beacon sensor. Hit the space bar so we can get back to vehicle mode, and we're off. Now, this is the last one that you can hook a front loader to. The last two you cannot. I don't know if I popped a. Yeah, I popped a hood for you guys. 
open the bonnet, sir. We gotta take a look under the hood here. I really like that. Can't really see it too well, but let's go in the cockpit now. Oh, this one don't light up. Oh, wait a minute. It'll help if I turn my lights on, wouldn't it? There we go. See that? Even the even the joystick thing lights up there. Very cool. Look at this. I didn't even oh the moon shining out the roof. I didn't notice the panels on the side light up here too. Excellent, excellent. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Can't open those, can I? No. So what's this telling me? Space, I see K. Front loader block. Front loader block. Oh yeah, that's to raise and lower that thing. That's right. Okay. Have toggle lights and change the wheels. Oh, change the wheels. Here we go. Now what do you mean change the wheels? I wish I could see them from uh... Oh I can't. Okay here we go. It's going to be hard to see at night. Sorry guys I didn't realize that. Well I'm going to flick through them anyway. Change wheels in. There's different... Um, okay. Oh it's just switching to double sided. Okay. <laughs> I was pressing 7 and 4. It was telling me to press 7 and 4. This here just seems to do it on its own. But yeah, you can uh, you can even vary through the uh, the different kinds of weights you have on the side as well as the plates, guys. So that's pretty cool. I hope this wasn't a bad idea going to nighttime here because I don't know how this is going to turn out in the recording. Anyhow, on to the next one. Now, this is the Massey Ferguson. Macy Ferguson. 7718. The price is 180000 131 kilowatts and 178 horsepower. This does not have front loading capability. The lights work fine. Do we have no backlights on this guy? Oh, maybe the bigger models don't have them. I don't know. I don't know. I'm getting confused here. So, I want to take you guys over to the shop, too. Sorry for jumping around here. I'm just going to take you over to see what we're looking at in the mod department here tractors okay there's all your variations there they all look identical pictures it's one two three four five there's all your prices and everything okay back back let's see how fast we can get this puppy going yeah you can see you can hear the variations in uh, the engine sounds So, I mean, this guy goes about 50 kilometers. Not bad. How you doing, bud? Alright. So, that's pretty much the run of that one. Let's take a look at our last one, guys. This is the Massey Ferguson 7726. The price is 20 or 220,000. Uh, the power is 188 kilowatts with 255 horses of power. Now, I'm going to slow down time here again. Oh, I'm going to keep it going, actually, till about 8 or 9. So, let's jump inside. Open some stuff up. I like the little, uh... The symbols for openings. You know, I'm just hoping I'm not forgetting to go through over anything here guys uh, oh there's row crop wheels too I don't know really what that is and press K to remove or add K N oh maybe that's what that was okay that's what that was they're crop wheels guys when I was pressing N there and you're going two to four that's what that is nope Oh, well, I'm not going to mess with that anyway. You get the idea. Okay, I'm going to slow this guy down. Number path, four, seven, work lights, five, and four. See, they do have different variations in between them, that's for sure. See, four is kind of, uh, I can tell there's two, uh, there's two things hooked to that one button. But that's fine. Seven. Oh man, look at this. This thing looks like a beast with the extra wheels. 
Uh, I can't press N on this for some reason. Yeah, this thing looks like a beast. Look at this thing. Oh, hello, tree. Oh, <laughs> that was pretty neat. Beacons on. Interior view. Let's try not to drive in any lakes. So they're all basically look the same inside for the most part. But you know you're going to get a few more horses here and there. And this guy only seems to go 50 kilometers too, but you know you get a hell of a lot more horsepower. So let me drive over here and we'll wrap this up. So like I said guys, there's five different variations of this. The file size is 208.3 megabytes, so it's a it's a little bigger of a mod, but I mean you got to consider there's five different tractors in here. So there you have it, guys. The Massey Ferguson version two pack, 208 megabytes. Hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.